Hello everyone. In this small tutorial, we are going to see how to set up virtual host in the XAMPP software. Okay. Now basically, XAMPP is a, a suite of uh, softwares which basically aids in the de uh, web development process. So basically, it installs uh, a web server or database server and the scripting language PHP. So it uh, it is easy uh, for us to use these softwares without uh, uh, dealing with the hassle of uh, configuring them, right? So uh, we all use uh, may have used this software, uh, but uh, in this tutorial we are going to see how to set up virtual host uh, in in your XAMPP installation. Okay, so by default virtual host is disabled, right? Now, what uh, what is the use of virtual host is you can create uh, different websites which uh, which points to different folders, uh, uh, isolating uh, the uh, websites from each other, right? So that creates uh, a very good approach when designing websites, and also in some of the frameworks like uh, many of the web frameworks like uh, Laravel uh, and Symfony, etc. So there you have to create virtual host to test your software, right? So now uh, to do uh, to do that, we will start with, um, I'm assuming that you already, uh, you have already installed the uh, XAMPP software or if you're not, then you can go to the link apachefriends.org slash downloads.html and there you can select which operating system you have and depending on that you can uh, select your uh, which version you want to download right so I have already downloaded this version 7.4.4 uh, 64 bit and I've installed it and you can see this is after the installation this is the panel that you get where you have all the services listed like Apache MySQL FileZilla that is for FTP uh, mail etc so uh, uh, whichever service you want you can uh, click on the start button to start that service right so for this tutorial we'll be only needing the first service that is apache right so let me click on start and let us uh, check what the place uh, which is uh, which is going to have our uh, software right so let us go to our uh, C drive and inside C drive you will see a XAMPP folder right where you have installed your installation uh, you may you may have changed during the installation so you should uh, go to that location in my case I have installed it in C drive XAMPP, for, XAMPP folder Insta inside that you can see all the softwares that are there right and you can see the startup scripts also uh, what we need is this uh, folder htdocs folder this is where we our project files are going to be right so if i open this this will be having lots of files uh, like the dashboard etc so i have deleted everything inside the htdocs folder and i have created two folders project one project two and then index.php okay now if i open this index.php you can see it only says hello okay so let us test whether our web server works or not okay now to test it you can either write 127.0.0.1 right so you can see i get that index.php file hello right or you can write localhost that will also give you the same thing right so these are the uh, domains right now now if you want to access this particular folder the contents of this particular folder okay so let's suppose this is my two projects one project well, first one is the project one and second is project two if i open this file there is also an index.php inside that okay so if you open that you will see uh, uh, the content inside that is project one okay so if i refresh uh, if i want to access that particular folder i just have to go to that folder by adding a slab forward slash and naming the folder project one and enter you can see i get that file right so uh, it's very simple like this right i can access project two also simply changing the folder right so till here it's fine but if i want to uh, create 
uh, different hosts for different projects then i have to start using virtual host right so for that we are going to start uh, first we have to enable virtual host okay so for that what we are going to do is we are going to uh, the xamp folder right and inside that there we can see the apache folder this is what we are going to use okay so inside that folder we have to go to the conf folder where all the configuration files are right and inside that in go to the extra folder and there you will see a lot of pro files and one of them is vhost this is the file which handles with the configuration of virtual host okay so if i open that you will see that uh, all the lines there are commented that is because currently the virtual host is disabled right now to enable virtual host all you have to do is just remove this particular line name virtual host okay so once you remove that pound symbol in front of it now your virtual host is enabled right so once that is enabled you have to configure your projects okay now to configure your projects uh, sample templates are given to you okay so all you have to do is copy one of the templates and come down paste it and remove the pound symbol in front of it and once this is done now you can decide whichever uh, domain you want over here and you can start uh, this deciding what, what uh, which domain should uh, forward to which folder right so now to start let us uh, take one domain let's say uh, let's call it project1.local okay so i'm calling this as project1.local this is my domain that that my website will work on right so uh, once you do that you uh, you have to re, uh, re repeat that process re uh, copy this from here project one dot local and repeat it everywhere else okay so this is the server name this is the most important part this is where it finds out which domain it redact, uh, forwards to right then this is the alternate uh, domain name okay so www dot project one dot local and these are just the log files you can skip it if you want but let me just put it over there and once my this thing is ready now the second most important part okay so second most important important part is when i open this domain which folder files it should serve right so basically here right now it is serving this particular location but this is not what we want we want till htdocs it's fine but after that i have to serve the project one folder right so i will just replace this with my project uh, folder right so if you look at the uh, htdocs if i go to project one and if i look at my link you can see it is z uh, c colon zamp htdocs project one so that is what i have put over here c colon zamp htdocs project one okay so once this is done i can save it and whenever you save this file you should always remember that you have to restart your apache to for the configurations to take effect right so i will just stop it and restart okay and uh, if you uh, use it right now it will not work okay the reason is you have to edit the uh, host name host file also right that is the second step after uh, enabling the virtual host okay so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to open notepad i will give you uh, show you two methods one is the manual method right uh, and one is using a software right so if you open the soft notepad directly that will not help okay so what we have to do is we have to go to start type notepad and then you have to right click on the notepad and run as administrator okay because the host file is a system file we need an admin right to open it right so sorry to edit it we need a admin right now file go to file click open and then go to your computer c drive your windows folder your system 32 folder 
okay and then drivers and etc and inside this the host file is there but you are not able to see right now only because uh, here only it is showing text file okay just select as all files and now you can see the host file okay now if you open the host file you will see uh, uh, in my case it is completely empty in your case there uh, there may be some comments but uh, uh, most of the times it will be empty right so what you have to do is you just have to enter each each of your uh, domains one by one one after one in a new line right so in our case uh, I, I, my domain is your, your first uh, parameter should be your IP address right now the IP address of my local computer is uh, 127 or 0.0.1 okay so this is the fixed IP of your local computer right so whenever even if you don't have a network this IP will always be there with you right so that is there I have added that and this uh, the second parameter is the domain that you want to select right so the domain that we have taken is project one dot local right let me just confirm it is project one dot local okay so now what I have done is I have set project one dot local is uh, redirecting to this particular IP okay so once that is done I can just save it you can see it has saved and if you have not opened this using admin rights here it will create a problem okay so once that is done we are ready right now if we go over here and open the website let me just add the protocol and if I press enter you can see it perfectly works okay so you can see I have added the first domain right the second uh, this is the normal method of doing it the second method is I'm going to add uh, one more uh, project that is project 2 right and I will show you uh, the virtual host process is the same I will just replace this by project 2 okay and the folder it directs to is project 2 okay so my virtual host is done I will save it and I will then restart it right now I want to edit the host file right similarly uh, the way I did in the previous project right so uh, the way I did this I can again go to notepad and open and ho edit the host file right but I like to use a software for that that is this software okay so host file editor it's an open source software hosted in github you can uh, download it from here I have already installed it I will just show you how you can use it I can just click on the host file editor app it opens with admin rights and you can see uh, um, this particular file right now it is not reflecting the contents that we have saved over there right so I will just click refresh and you can see uh, uh, it is saying refresh you want to refresh host file yes okay so as soon as I refresh you can see I get the entry that we had done previously right once that is done now we can start adding our uh, files okay adding our projects right so you can do by this method or you can do by the manual method by you going to notepad I I feel like this is much easier okay so let me uh, add one project I will just add project to dot local so this domain that you do select it can be anything it is I've just selected uh, this particular domain you can select any domain of your choice okay and click here this checkbox is very important only if this checkbox is checked then only the host file will reflect okay and after that you just click save right and now if you uh, if you go to your uh, website and type project two dot com. Sorry, not dot com. It was project two dot local, right? So http I forgot to put two. Okay 
so you can see it opens project 2 right so perfect we have uh, created two projects and we have used virtual host to, to separate the project right so i have shown you uh, both the methods how you can manually go to each projects with the local host or you can also create virtual host and this is a much preferred method when you are developing uh, bigger apps so this is the way to go about it okay so i hope you like the video we see you in the next video